Now, before we can work with the simplex algorithm, we must take a look at the constraints that we are dealing with. And one of the constraints might look like this. So this is a three-variable constraint. x plus 3y plus 5z is less than or equal to 23. The simplex algorithm works with equations and not inequalities. So we need to turn this inequality into an equality. Okay, so the x plus 3y plus 5z stays as it is. And because that's going to be less than or equal to 23, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a quantity that will add it, well, will add on enough to get me up to 23. Okay, so I'm going to add on an amount, let's say s that means I am actually at 23. Now, s could be 0. s could be 0, and I could be at 23. That's perfectly fine. But that extra bit that I'm adding on makes sure that it's always going to be equal to 23. Now, this s that I'm adding on here is referred to as a slack variable. And when we have more than one slack variable, I'll be calling them S1, S2, S3. Or you might see in some notations, um, sometimes it's R, S, T, um, or, or maybe different letters are used. Okay? But this is a slack variable because it's taking up the slack that allows you to get up to the 23. Okay, so for any inequality that is less than or equal to, we must add on a slack variable to make it into an equality.